Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on my left, and he's here in November. Whiskey Charlie Kilo, main pad clear to land. Main pad clear to land, Whiskey Charlie Kilo. Yeah. Here's all the wrong one. Yep. Okay, over some pipes. Yeah, I don't Tango want to hit those. Two, the runway will not be available. Number two to the main pad. Number two, main pad, Hotel Tango Tango. Okay, so full power Eight against brakes. We'll see what we got. Ready okay, good. Yeah. Important today. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bravo X ray, Bankstown Tower, hold position. Hold position, India Bravo X ray. Airspeed. Okay, we'll go ahead with his takeoff. Oh, really doesn't want to climb today. No. Uh, heavy too. Alright, flaps up, power full. India Bravo, x cool pump on. the Robin... Temperature some pressure, yeah, lift a little bit. This is downwind, runway left, cliff takeoff. Thank you. Cliff takeoff, runway left, we've got the traffic site, India Bravo, X-ray. I don't think I can go, like final. Hotel Tango, Tango, main pad, clear to land. Main pad, clear to land, Hotel Tango, Tango. Okay, temps and pressures are growing. Perhaps are up, pump you can turn off. Yep. Don't turn yet. Oh. Turn at 900. Okay. That way we achieve 1500 by mid downwind. Oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. To avoid the incoming traffic. Yeah, okay. Kilo Ramia Delta, runway left, number one. Delta, runway left, clear to land. Runway left, clear to land, kilo Ramia Delta. November, runway right, clear to land. Right, clear to land, Romeo Fox, right, November. We haven't passed the outside railway yep, line. Yep, yep, yep. I, I lost an eye on it. I lost my eye on it. Ready for downwind departure. Tango, Romeo, Romeo, tower, hold position. Hold position, Tango, Romeo, Thank you. Romeo, 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 Romeo. here today. Yeah. Okay, now we can climb and turn. Romeo, Romeo, line up, runway left and wait. 
Line up, runway one, one left and wait. Tango, Romeo, Romeo. Let's take off runway one one left. Tango Romeo Romeo. Wants to be nose high today. Thank you. 2,400 on turn 1,000. Receive golf inbound request clearance. Tango Zulu, Tower joint final, runway 11 left, 4 to establish 3 miles. Joint final 11 left, Wilco, Tango Zulu. Bextown Tower, Cherokee, Foxtrot, Zulu, Whiskey at 2RN uh, 1,500. Receive information, golf inbound, uh, Bankstown Tower. Zulu Whiskey Tower, joint final, runway 11 left, Port Warwick Farm. Join runway 11 left, uh, report Warwick Farm, Fox Rock Zulu Whiskey. is currently 2.5 miles to the west of Prospect on the same passing 1,900 inbound with golf. Fox 8231, tower joint final, runway 11 left, port established 3 miles. Final for runway 11 left, we will call for Just a 460, you can identify the climb flight level 280, cancel speed restrictions. Level 280, cancel speed, just uh, around 460. Uniform number Romeo, control identification service terminator, frequency change approved, score 1200, see ya. Identification terminated, frame to change approved. Sierra Sierra Romeo. Just a 460, turn left, heading 070. Heading 070, just a 460. Is overhead Sandon Hills at 1,900, tracking north-south. 
and traffic in the uh, Bankstown northbound lane for Parchy Tango's two miles north of Westmead, uh, tracking direct to Hornsby at 2500. Windy today. Yeah. Well, picked an area up, extra lane. All right. Uh, well, here we are at Brinjelli. I have 5-9. Uh, Close. Say uh, five nine here. Uh, take this one more time. So compass two three five. Now we need to turn to two three four, which is pretty much what we have. Uh, fog. I've already written that down. So we add the ETA, which is forty one minutes. So it should be forty. I've lost an altitude. Engine temperatures and pressures look okay. I'm not gonna climb until we're well past. Actually, we can climb now to 4,500. Hey. Yep. All right. Let's do that. Oh, so we got full rich. Yep. So set up a climb. Radio. We want it one third. Not yet. Orientation. Well, we should be headed toward past the Oaks. I checked the map a minute ago, and. Uh, yeah, that's about right, largely. Fuel. We need to subtract 13 minutes. Uh, I think it's probably more than that today, but should we call it 13 minutes for the time from Bankstown? No, six minutes, 13 miles. Six. Yeah, 53. So, I'll put up the fuel times on there. Stable. So we got five, three, two, three. Five, three, two, three. Five, three. And we had 120 when we started. The next time is a while from now. 1,500 feet. And future times. Got my whack. Fly the plane for a moment. <laughs> Here's Euclid, Barracks 5 inbound, the Sydney QNH 1008 on Romeo. Uh, the segment time is 14 minutes, plus 5-9 is 1-3. Plus another 14 minutes is 2-7. Your height for this leg is what? Um, Just four, six, I've, four, I've four, planned for six one, five. Two, two, once we can get there. Okay. Um, now I've forgotten the two minutes of climbing that I need to adjust for. I'll do in a moment. It's not a super easy day, is it? Huh. I'm too high. All of a sudden. Above 100 feet. I need to add two minutes for climbing, so this becomes 4-2. Put one minute on that first segment and one minute on the second, I think. So, uh, where are we? 1-4 and 2-9. Two, two, passing 1,500, climbing 3,000. And it is now 4 so I'm going to just try to fly for a while. 5,000, ambulance 227. 
hold a heading. Yeah. And I'll wait till we're well clear of the oaks, and then we can climb again. I guess I put it on the wrong segment. But for now, I'll try. I'll. Uh, and it's the word I'm looking for. Lean. This throttle wants to creep. Yeah, it does. Can't tell whether it wants to go in or out. It seems both. Alright. Anyway, what's my heading at the moment? Sydney Terminal, India Bravo X ray, Papa Warrior 15 miles north of Sydney, 2000, requesting Harbour Scenic 1 is available. Uh, sorry, Smith, you call sign? India Bravo X ray. You have X ray? Ah, uh, it's too high again. Um, uh, there's the Oaks runway. Yeah, I think we're, we're good to go to, to climb now. Hey, yeah. alright, I'll just do that. Full Rich. 7, track direct to Dubbo, climb flight level 240. Track Dubbo, flight level 240, ambulance 227. One five then doing it in the first segment. Can you buy X ray, you're identified verify level? Uh, 1,900 India Bravo X-ray. Thanks. From Longreef, you clear to Harbour Scenic 1, the Sydney Q&H 1008. Clear to Harbour Scenic 1 on Q&H 1008, India Bravo X-ray. 35, good afternoon, Singapore, 72, 90. Boy, I'm lucky. Am I going to make it up there? Maybe not. Just fly at your current speed and you will. Climb flight level 2, 8, okay. cancel state restrictions. Climb flight level 2, 8, 0, cancel state restrictions, Singapore, 72, 95. When it's hot and heavy, it needs to be slower, right? Am I wrong? Yeah, but we're, we're above 4,000, so 75 knots is our best way to climb. Okay, I was down by 70. All right, yeah. let's try 75. Yeah. I thought you meant 80. All right. The, the weight affects it, though, doesn't it? It does, but not not a lot. If okay. the speed's out, it affects it more. Much okay, more. fair enough. Uh, don't let it creep back too far. Okay. Doesn't want to stay stable either. Two hundred feet per minute. Beautiful. <laughs> I guess that means uh, the CTA is quite wrong. Yeah, just leave it leave it what it is and we'll, we'll work it out once we get there. All right, fair enough. Can't spend all my time doing arithmetic. Yeah. Singapore 7295, cancel sit turn right heading 270. 
6 turn right heading 270 Singapore 7295. Are we getting a thermal now? Is that what's going on? From the dark? A little bit, yeah. 600 climbing to 3000. Killing 64 Delta departures identified, climb via Sid to 5000. Five to Sid to 5000, killing 64 Delta. When you get to six and a half, don't dump the nose, otherwise we'll right. sink. Slowly. Yeah, very slowly. The higher you are, the slower the process. All right. Singapore 7295, clear direct to NPAG. Direct to NPAG, Singapore 7295. Let's get out of here, 262, left turn, 125, one, two, five, one there's a clover to 3,000. 262 departure identify. Killing 64 Delta, clear direct to Camber, climb to flight level 250. Direct Camber, flight level 250, killing 64 Delta. No showground request, uh, airways inbound for Sydney. Alright. The station is calling you around frequency, you're transmitting on Sydney Centre. Let it accelerate a bit more. Helicopter Bravo Charlie Joy, request. Bravo Charlie Joy. Bravo Charlie Joy, it is for Rara, 1,800 feet, checking for some dive showgrounds, request uh, inbound for Sydney. Bravo Charlie Joy, stand by. Approach down five. Ls two sixty two, climb by Sid to five thousand. I see it five thousand feet, ambulance two sixty two. All over the place. But I need to turn right, I'm pretty sure. Alright, well we're coming up on that time, but I know I'm conscious we're gonna be late from the very slow climb. But I'm gonna have a look at the map. We expect to be... Bravo Charlie, you'll expect to track by the Bondi 5. Bravo Charlie. We expect to be beyond the water, beyond the large fork in the water, uh, with the smaller fork behind it, where the river is tapering off, in, and that there's a fork. I've gained a bunch of altitude all of a sudden. And, uh, let's see, out to our left, Got the big road with uh, Hilltop and Bull Vale and Bowerall and Mittagong. That's maybe too far to see, I'm not sure. It's kind of a clear day. Uh, actually, no, it's a bit hazy. Um, we expect... By the river we've got, I think it's railway tracks? What are the yellow things that look like railway tracks? These are just high ground? High ground boundaries? Cliff face. Right. Sorry? Cliff face. Cliff face. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Okay. Anyway, I'm looking for that big fork in the river. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, the big fork here, and then the smaller fork here with the river tapering off. All right. Have yeah. a look. Yeah, have a look. Well, there's where it tapers off. Here's the big fork. Okay. We're, we're, I don't know, how, how far is that? Um, a mile from the Big Fork? Yeah. Two, a mile and a half? I'd say a mile. Alright. So we're a mile from the Big Fork, which means... Where are my miles? That's five miles. Yeah. We're actually relatively on track, I would say. Uh, just uh, late. So about here at 1-4. So that's maybe uh, three miles. That's maybe three miles, right? Four miles ahead of ahead of uh, of there. Put your pencil on it. Yeah. Two 
and a half. There you go. Okay. Two and a half. Let's call it two. Um, so we're about. Yeah, right. So actually, we said one five, and we're two miles at one four. So that actually is reasonable, isn't it? Reasonably on time. Okay. It should be more. Well, as we get to the next one, it'll average out a bit like closer. Yeah. Okay. Let me check my compass again now. Identified and state will in contact approach one two eight days more three. I have to mention my altitude. See the runway? Oh yeah. Uh, is it a dirt strip? Yeah, I'll grab it this way. Yeah. Yenderity. Yenderity. Yeah. Is it a private place? Yeah, but um, you can you can fly in there. They got a bed and breakfast. Oh, oh really? Okay. So you can go in there, and then there's a lot of bushwalking. You can. Okay. Uh, oh, that's nice. Lose your engine, you fly in there too. Yeah. Right. Okay. Terminal helicopter Bravo Charlie Delivery Request Transit the Nami sector. Alright. This is Tiger Country. Tiger? Yeah. Why do you say that? Because it eats aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, okay. Charlie Jules, Corp 0456. 0456, probably Charlie Jules. Unless you know where all the little gems are like that. Yeah, well that's a gem, yeah, for uh, sure. And you got Tomac Creek, which is in your 11 o'clock. Yeah, I see that one there. That's another ALA. Is there a strip there? Yeah. Okay. Next is 2-9, I said, in the end. And that's fuel time, too. Uh, I think it was. Maybe it was 2-3. No, 2-3 is fuel time. Okay. Bravo, Charlie, are you cleared to transit the Manly right now it is one six. five southbound, Sydney QNH 1008. What's straight ahead, that clearing straight ahead? Off the nose, or ahead of the nose. Transit Manly sector. You see it there? Yeah. Southbound and copy the traffic. That's just another clearing. Okay. Nothing special. Oh, hang on, you've turned the aircraft. I think that's the strip over there on the left. Yeah. I don't know what that is. That's Bindu. Say what? Bindu. Oh, okay. Is that a town? There used to be a VOR there. Oh, okay. Departures for 246, heading 290, maintaining 3000. Product 246 departures identified. Climb via SID to flight level 200. Climb via SID to flight 200, flight 246. Alright, my, so my updated ETA is the same. In your Bravo X-ray, traffic year 10 o'clock at 5 miles is Bravo Charlie, Julia Robbie 44, tracking via Manly for the uh, harbour. Copy, we'll keep an eye out for the traffic in your Bravo X-ray. Flutter 246, clear direct double. Direct double, Flutter 246. Sierra Kilo Romeo passing 3000, request flight level 120. Sierra Kilo Romeo, Sydney, Sydney, you're identified, standby. We're supposed to be on the next frequency, I missed that. And the one after that is 124.1 again, and then 124.55. Oh, it's an easy radio day, okay. Melbourne Central, take the Kilo, uh, request the statue, Sorry, Area 376, thank you. Oscar, X-ray Kilo, uh, I'm not aware of any parachute operations there today. Thanks, I'll take Kilo. Where's the strip there? Which way is it oriented? Is it this way? No, south. Okay.
very long, is it? surroundings of course. Oh yeah, like if if you had, if put it in a false landing, if you got there at 65 knots you'd be fine. Yeah, no problem, yeah. It's a little bit rough though it looks like. Yeah, uh, yeah I see the the strip there, they've got it uh flattened. Yeah that one there's a little bit bigger. It's like just open ground. Yeah that so one would be better. That's got a few to a few uh, trees to it. Yeah. That's where the VOR was. Yeah. Oh, it meant it, yeah, the round bit. Yeah. Okay. Are they always round like that? They got a round cleared area because it's uh, on the directional. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Right. And it's line of sight, so you got to have everything cleared. Oh, uh, right. Of course, no trees. Yeah. There must be a um, an angle that they have to clear for the trees. on this uh, calibration here. Yeah. yeah. And it's also lower than we want. Yeah, maybe actually more like there. I don't know. Well, we've been climbing. We've been climbing that. a lot, yep. So, yep. as we go, because yep. we're lean and at one altitude, yep. we'll be uh, averaging of course. out. Yeah, that makes sense. It should come back up to the line. It should line. come back, yeah. I was going to say, it's not too bumpy in the clouds, not too low. Not too bad, yeah, actually, out here. I was expecting us to get smashed here. Yeah. With uh, turbulence, but um, not, not the case. So you, you can see sometimes the forecast... It's not, yeah, yeah. it's pessimistic. Okay, so coming up here, once we get there... All right, this first. Couple minutes we expect. All right, let's see. Major features: there's a fork in the river to the right. There's the railway tracks back into the left. For, uh, four of them joining two forks. Um, we got the uh, whatever the hell these are called, wind farms up into the left. Um, got the fork in the road up into the right. Caves behind us. We shouldn't be able to see that. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, so I'm looking for the river, basically, off to the right, like a beam at 2.9, which is about now. So as soon as I trim this, I'll have a look. All right, where's the river? It's going to be over there, but it's on low ground, so of course I can't see it super well. That may be the road that I was looking for, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's look at the topography. Thanks, Doug. Sorry. As soon as I have to look at terrain, I, uh, I lose... I forget how to fly. If it's trim, just take your hand off the stick. Well, it's just... The creeping throttle is giving me trouble. I need to learn to compensate for that. Alright. So, we 
want the river over there, fork in the road, uh, and the wind farms, which, I'm not sure I see the wind farms, maybe, I've had trouble with wind farms before, so I'm not trying not to rely on them too much. Um, there's a path there, I don't know if that's big enough to count as that road. Looks like a, a gravel road. Have a good look. There's a river. Ah, uh, you Australians and your bloody rivers. <laughs> Alright, so there's a road down here. You're saying there's a river here, I can barely see it. Let me have another look. That's a river. Okay. So that should be, uh... Ah, oh, that doesn't look like a river to me. Looks like a creek. Um... Well, as usual, I'm having trouble with the rivers, but uh, I think we're, I think that's probably this track and we're off track to the left, um, Uniform, Julia, Uniform. that river. So there should be a major road ahead going uh, left to right, or a more major road anyway. Could be this cleared one, but that's probably power lines. Do we have power lines on the map? Yeah, there's the power lines. Thank you. Are we early? Bravo, Zulu, Echo, contact center, one, two, If that's the power lines, then they go off toward the fork in the river. But these rivers are, t are tiny. Zulu, Echo, contact center, one, two, zero, day, small, zero, good day. So? One, two, zero, day, small, zero, Bravo, Zulu, Echo. That's the power lines. They joined some other power lines to the left. They cross two roads. That may be one road and two roads. And there should be a fork in the river over there. And... That other road goes and joins up in a larger fork up there. I think we're only coming up on the on our spot now, like we're early. So I'm going to say that's those power lines. Four here, those are the ones that meet up with it. There's a gap in the power lines on the map. Which means... It should be about here, I, I think. And under that theory, I'm going to write down 2-7. Oh shit. I misread my watch. That's why we're early. Alright, I, I solved it. 2-7 there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're 2-7 there, pretty much on track. Uh, and if that's... What are you pointing at? The road? Oh, the wind farms, of course. All right, fair enough. Thank you. I misread my watch. Okay, that's important. You gotta read watches correctly. All right, let me figure out the compass. We've gotten off course. All you had to do was conspicuous silence. Um, all right. Well, well, if I wasn't here, I'd have wanted to let you I do don't it. know, because silence is exactly yeah, the right training, yes. Yeah, you couldn't figure it out. It would, it would need I would have prompted you, not told you. Yeah. And eventually you would have found out. Yeah, I, okay, I fucked up the watch. But now it's 2-9. Uh, we were there at 2-7. So that's about on time. Uh, maybe one minute early. Let's see, how far is that? Two miles. Yeah, maybe that's one minute early. So, uh, it should be two minutes early to the next one, so 4-0. Um, and we were slightly to the right of track, maybe one mile. Um, from there, so we need two, two degrees, uh, no, I'm sorry. Shit. Uh, that is about one in 20. Is that right? Oh, I fucked this up. How far is this distance? 41 miles. That's Three time. That's, that's time. Oh, no wonder. Okay, that is 20 miles. Okay. 1 in 20 is 3 in 60. Thank you. Uh, so 6 degrees left gives me uh, 228. All right. Now after
after that production. my log. Okay. There's a town over there. What town is that? Alright, well, uh, it's way into the right of the wind farm, so we expect. Oh, no, actually. What? What time is it? Ah. You. What time is it? 3-0. So where should we be on the map? Just past, um, yeah, just past here. And it's south of us, so. South of us is that direction. Well, I want to say Taralga, but it seems like Taralga is too far along. But, uh, yeah, given the orientation with the, with the wind farms, I mean, it must be Taralga. There's nothing, there's nothing else anywhere near here, Correct. that side. So, yeah, let's call that Taralga. So I should pinpoint on that, maybe when we come a beam of it. Figure out my heading again. Alright, we're a beam of Taralga. Uh, I can't say how far that is though. What would, what would you say to that? Five miles? Yeah, it's a bit far. Alright. Don't descend anymore. Don't descend anymore. Thank you. Uh, that's at 3-1, five miles of beam of Taralga, which I'll write down in a moment. Uniform Juliet Uniform, just checking, you are aware of Oscar x Ray Romeo at Shepparton, is that correct? I said Uniform Juliet Uniform. Thank you. So, Ralga plus five miles, about there, three one. Yeah, don't be afraid to use, if you see something that's obviously very, very prominent, yeah. Um, to help you just make another pinpoint. Yeah, it just re-solidifies your, your previous pinpoint even more. All right, good, good call. Yeah. Okay, so we expect to be there at four zero. Now three two. I can read my watch. I'm gonna just chill out for a little bit. <laughs> We're doing well. Yeah. Okay, Charlie Romeo, Roger. Ship it and sell what is terminated. Next fuel is at five three. Enjoy the scenery. Enjoy the scenery. It is pretty out here. It's nice and green too. Yeah. I don't even know where we are. Like, okay. This is what you call the central table and. Yeah, right. Hello Center, Hello Center 339, CN, CCLB, IFR, Texas Amsdale for Essendon, runway 22. Ambulance 339 in Melbourne Centre, good day, Squawk code 4317, no reported IFR traffic. in the Maria area, Alpha Alpha x -ray. four minutes to a parachute drop from flight levels, Maria.
do they grow out here? What do they grow? Is it livestock? Mainly grazing. Grazing. Okay. Center of Florida, 249, departure walker. Flight 249, now you are identified. Clear to Dubbo, track fire parks, planned... Raising for cattle or sheep or what? Mainly sheep. Uh, clear to Dubbo, tracking fire, uh, tracking Walker Park, flight plan route, climb flight level 230, passing 5,500, flight 249. Flight 249. It's a bit cooler up here. Yeah. About eight degrees. Feels nice up here. <laughs> yeah. I can deal with this, especially under the clouds. Yeah. Well, when you get an arrow, all of this is covered, so you just got this view. Oh, nice. So Poor of it's harder to see around now, hey? It is a bit, but at the end of the day, if you're going to go traveling, you know what? That. Yeah, uh, yeah, in I your, agree. In I your agree. Face all the time. Yeah. Um, does it have a high wing, or is it low wing? Low wing. Okay. But it's got a tin roof. Yeah, tin roof. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice to be able to like, you know, see around, especially when you're upside down or whatever. But uh, yeah, it, get, it does get old. not blind. <laughs> I can see ahead of us. Because yeah, you drew your, your line to the aerodrome. Ah, hey, that's a good point. Yeah. Okay. Forgot about that. Which is what we're supposed to do, right? We plan by an aerodrome. If it's got an aerodrome. If it's, if it's got one, yeah. yeah. An ambulance 339, a tracking direct to Monty is available. It was 339, uh, we'll make that turn now. So where would the aerodrome be in relation to the town on the map? Uh, well, it should be beyond it, um, a little bit to the left. Is that what you mean, as, as we come in? Yeah, as we're coming in. Yeah, it should be. There's the town, there's yep. the aerodrome yep. south. Yeah. Southwest. Yep, so a little bit beyond it as we come in. Yeah. We've flown to this one before. But here's the town, so we expect it to be over there. Yep, thank you. Uh, how far do you think we're from this cloud? Don't use that as a Okay, but, uh, that's fine, but there are legal requirements, right? I mean, this is fine, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I, I, am, I am curious, though, how far, how far do you think we are? We're about 500 feet below. Okay. I mean, we're at no risk of accidentally plunging into it. Huh. Yeah. Not the way you're going. <laughs> well, okay, but, I mean, it's not a coincidence, though. I'd rather, I'd rather go down than up, but yeah. All right, so there's the town, obviously. Um, show the runway on here. Which, uh, which way is it oriented? It doesn't show. I think I see it, but I'm not positive. Um, shows 
telling here that it's near the end of the wind farms. Kind of a funny place to put it. In the Bay Area, half x rays drop from place onto San Bria. It might be obvious to you, but I don't see it yet. Yeah. Don't drop the nose. Just turn it, you gotta look. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, 339, uh, approximately 7 miles to the west of uh, Van Sale, passing 5,900, climbing to flight number 180, tracking amended direct to Monty. Uh, estimating Monty at uh, 0513. Ambulance 339 are identified, clear to Essendon, tracking amended direct to Monty, then to Essendon, climb to flight level 180. To uh, Essendon via Monty on the part of 180 with 339. Let's see the damn aerodrome. If I can believe the map, it should be over there by the uh, wind farms. But, oh, we're just at the town now, hey. Okay. Yeah. I thought we had gone farther. Alright, should be over there then. Here it is. That's that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. It's a grass strip above yeah. grass. Yeah. Okay, hey, sorry for I saw the the markers. Yeah. Okay, head straight for it, and then after that, we're turning to five. No, two three. Okay, keep it bright. Zero two then. three. The VFR Tango Romeo Romeo Center. I feel like this DI is working better than it used to. That's because we're not turning much. <laughs> okay, fine, fair enough. We over it now? Not yet, I can't see it. Romeo Romeo Center. I think we're over it now. I'm going to say we're at there at 4-2. Uh, Where are we? 4-2. Now I'm going to turn 023. And we're going to be at 55 five eventually. Four two plus two three is O five. Romeo, just wanted to make sure that you're aware of Echo Quebec Bravo, who's doing parachute drop at Goulburn. Thank you very much for that. Tango, Romeo, Romeo. Any information on when the drop will be active? Tango, Romeo, Romeo, I do believe they have been given a clearance to drop. They are at flight level 143 at this time, so I'd say uh, sometime within the next... Yeah, that, that worked pretty well, actually. Yeah, All right. No, I'm not going to do that yet, sorry. I've done the compass, I've done the log, engine looks okay, full rich for descent, descending to A055. Radio is still 124.1 the whole way, we're on frequency. Orientation, what do we expect? We expect to be going uh, past Kirkwell on our left. Um, with the wind farms, with the, that group of wind farms back into the right. So there's Kirkwell, there's that group of wind farms. Good. Future times, we want plus 11. Oop. Plus 11 for that segment. Uh, from 0, no, not from 05, 42, which is 53. 5-3. Yep. I believe it's 6,300, about 3 or 4 minutes ago, uh, 
you have contact with him at all? Okay, you're at Bravo AFM. I just spoke to them and advised them that you're going to do a broadcast on this frequency. They're through 4,900 at 1-1 one, one miles to run at Goulburn at this time. Break, break, Tango, Romeo, Romeo, centre you on frequency. Thank you, Romeo, Romeo. Uh, I'm going to track direct to Shell Harbour and I won't, I won't overfly and land at Goulburn. Understood, Tango, Romeo, Romeo, uh, Romeo. Thanks very much for your help. Go Quebec, Bravo. Have a good day. Tango Romeo Romeo, thanks for that. Uh, there's no IFI or known VFI traffic in the area. Thank you, Romeo Romeo. All right, now we'll lean it again. Hand on the throttle. I need three hands. Yeah, not so much. Only if your wife could see you now, multitasking. <laughs> it's funny, she's so much better than me at that kind of thing, yeah. Thank you, Romeo. Romeo, what level will you be on climb to? Only things I have practice at. I'm going to direct to Shell Harbour. All right. Flight level 055. Thank you, Romeo, Romeo. Thank you, Romeo, Romeo. Thanks. There will be opposite direction VFR traffic, unverified 6400. Appears to be tracking Shell Harbour direct to Goulburn. And at this stage, they are one six miles to the west, sorry, east of your present position. With the traffic, thank you, Romeo, Romeo. Okay, the next thing was uh, five three, and that's also fuel time. You're just gonna halfway point for this one. Yeah, halfway point for this one. Right. That seems right, doesn't it? To Fifty miles. Uh, Twenty three minutes, more importantly. Should be on the ground. Mike Golf Yankee, and we're aware of Sanger Romeo Romeo. Mike Golf Yankee, thank you. Give us a map for a second. Yep. So the, re the reason I didn't do that is because Noel in the book says you want to do 10 minutes, right? And it seems like, uh, what is that, 8 minutes is too short? Maybe, I guess, I guess a third would work, hey. Yeah. Do you want to do it? 45. It, okay, all right, and, and below. Higher, yeah. Okay, okay. Higher, you can go third. Yeah. Anything below that, you go higher. Okay, all right. You, should, I, should I change it or just no, go, we'll, go? We'll stick with that. All right, all right. And just so you can see where we're going, okay? Yeah. And you've got one pinpoint. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I would rather have two, yeah. I see what you mean, yeah. Alright, my mistake. What's the Nolan Caves got there for us to look at? Uh, it's, got a, it's got a big, like, hotel complex, or, or I don't know if it's hotel or whatever, but um, I looked at the satellite view, like you said, and I think it's got, like, a terracotta roof or something that color anyway. Yeah. And then you said you can see into the caves. I, um, I couldn't see that on the satellite view, but I'm, I, I believe you. Well, look at the map. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, okay. And what else is there? Um, right. Well, there's a... Uh, is this a transmitter tower? Looks it. Yeah. And then there's a road coming out to Janolan Caves. How and high we got is the tower? 4,720. Above ground, how high is it? 300 above ground. There you go. So a pretty tall tower is what, is what you're saying. Well, you're going to see a tower amongst nothing. Say it again? going to see a tower amongst nothing. So you're saying that should make it easy. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. The spot a cave that's down in the bottom of a ravine. That's harder, yeah. Yeah, but you, you have a lead-in feature. you got a tower. Tower, good call. And you should be able to see that from while we approach is what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Because there's nothing else. Yep. Five, three. Quicker. Yeah, 
Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Melbourne uh, Centre, good day. There's no reported ice ice up at four descent via Mangalore, Sierra, India. The area can H is 1010. 1010, India, Nima, Quebec. Should I switch to that area QH now that I've heard it? Oh boy. Doesn't make a big difference. Ambulance 339, our contact centre, 123 decimal 75, g'day. 123 decimal 5, ambulance 339, g'day. And India, Limited, just confirming we're cleared to leave control to air descending. India, Limited, Quebec, AFM, you're cleared to leave control to air space on descent. Cleared to leave control to air space on descent, India, Limited, Joining back into the left here, we expect a river, uh, well we should have pa passed a river crossing the road. Up ahead we have the river joining up at the road right where the high ground starts. Um, off to the left, got those rivers, all those rivers and then it crosses the road in the bend in the road. Um, yeah, so a beam of us, I think the, the best feature here is a beam of us we want um, that confluence of rivers. Um, with the high ground starting just ahead of us. Yeah, there's not a whole lot here. Oh, and power lines crossing a fork in the river off to the right. Okay, I'm gonna give it a couple minutes before I look. Good. Okay, it's about time. So, we want that fork in the river off to the right. Confluence of the rivers off the left. I assume the confluence of the rivers is in those valleys over there. Um, we do have the high ground starting up ahead. Looking for that road or power lines. Power lines. Power lines may be that clearing over there. There a road coming off of them on the map. That's not the right orientation. Um, anyway, I think that's the confluence of rivers I'm looking for over there, which means... Should have a road basically under us. That might be that one. I think it's that one. There's some power lines here. Uh, don't think those are on the map, unless... Oh, actually... Given those power lines, there's another road on our left. Your road. Uh, there's a lot of power lines around. I'm not going to trust the map on the power lines. But that road forks uh, over there. Be 
Doug. Um, power lines, ah, shit. All right. I really need to be able to spot rivers better. You're right about that. I say if you had three pinpoints, it would be easier. Yes, you're putting all your eggs in one basket. I sure am. Um. Well, we're over the power line. Yeah, but the problem is the power line, there's a lot of power lines on the ground and not so many on the on the map. Um, oh, okay, that should be, oh, no, no, okay, that should be this these power lines here, which means there's a road beyond them and a correctional center. Um, I missed the correctional center last time, but... Uh, I guess that's this road beyond them. If it's If it's that road... Then the correctional center should be beyond the road in one of these clearings. Um, and there's a river pointing at it with a fork. Uh, Gears, maintaining level 152, cleared to 9,000, top of descent at 5.5. Testing, windy Melbourne Centre, get out when ready, cleared to loop control airspace on descent, there's no reported IFR traffic. I think this is the correctional centre. 1010, the road coming in. Are we that far beyond it? 5, 6, 4 miles? Uh, no, 6 miles? That's kind of a stretch. But, uh... No, that's too far, yeah. I think that was the confluence of the rivers over there. I'm gonna... Uh. Alright, I'm gonna pick a prominent feature. What time is it? 5, 7. I did want uh, two pinpoints, didn't I? <laughs> Um... Does? It jogs to the right, th or it jogs there. Uh, 
uh, pointing at that river double bend. There's a power line that jogs. Power line that jogs. Is that the right way? Yeah, that is the right jog. Okay, hang on. Wait, I lost it. Uh, there's a jog in the power line pointing at the double bend. Yeah, okay, so that's the double bend there. I'm going to go back there and note the time. Meander. Yeah. So with a double bend. Yeah. Okay. Where are those power lines again? There they are. They moved further than I thought I did when I was looking at the map. <laughs> Possibly double the meander again. Should be down here. There it is. Okay. All right. So we're right next to the meander. I'm gonna slow down. Seven twenty-three, five level three six zero. Just at seven twenty-three, Melbourne Centre. We're right next to the meander. We're probably over it now. That was here. It is uh, 01 right now. We need to go here. So, um, that's like uh, about five miles off track from our original track, maybe slightly more. Circle that meander. Um, so, uh, five in 25, let's call that 30. Five in 30 is 10 in 60. So, uh, it's 20 degrees to the right from our original track. Uh, which was zero two three. Is that right? No. Nope. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I fucked that up, didn't I? We we're supposed to be heading zero one seven, not zero two three. Um, but anyway, I was originally heading zero two three, so I need twenty degrees to the right of that is zero four three. So right here, I'll put here. I'll reevaluate the time. Victor Delta Delta Latrobe Valley at zero one. Our work levels will be four thousand down to two thousand. All right. Ops normal by two zero. Victor Delta Delta Copy again zero five two zero. IFR traffic for below four thousand feet. Now where'd that be undergo? Am I still over it? There's those power lines. Should be over here. South southwest of Latrobe Valley. Yeah. Okay. Tracking inbound intention. All right. So. It's now zero 03, call that zero 03, so I'm going to set up a heading for zero 043. Okay. Get moving again. Bidja, Nima, Quebec, Landy, Mango, Cancel, the Starboard. India, Lima, Quebec, Mango, Starboard, terminated. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Way out, uh, yeah. Okay, so if we were there at zero 03, um, and we, we said the segment is 11 minutes, a little bit further, but it should be close enough, call it 12 minutes, so let's say 1-5. Uh, Engine's still happy. We're late on fuel. I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, 
So it's now um, 05. 48 remaining. No, 71 remaining, sorry. Uh, at 05. Extra 15 minutes. Lima Lima Victor, Melbourne Center, good air, ECNH 1010. 010, Lima Lima Victor. Melbourne Center, good afternoon, HIMS 5, maintaining 5000. HIMS 5, Melbourne Center, good air, ECNH 1010. 1010, HIMS 5. Again, time 0545. Five. IFI traffic will be HEMS 5 and Medivac A Augusta 139 helicopter. The tracking direct to Aubrey will be a beam Wangaratta at approximately time 0534 and they'll be uh, on the track just to the south of the Wangaratta Aubrey track. Copy the traffic, copy the And HEMS 5, copy, thanks. HEMS 5. Just confirming that you are 5,000 visual, is that correct? Uh, we are 5,000 visual, and, uh, but also pilot calculated last so. time. Ms. 5, thank you. This up high, it's like there's some object there. Is that like an, a, a, a rock? Did you see what I'm talking about? Where, which one? This dark one here or the one in the distance? Beyond, yeah. That's a uh, cliff face. Is it? Yeah. Okay. If you lost the engine here, where would you go? Right now? Yeah, right here. Oh, I'd probably go boom up the height and land on that road over there. Wait, which road? Over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I guess roads are your best friend in an area like this, if nothing else. That's for sure.
Alright, I've climbed a bunch. Tell me you're gonna be to Nolan Case. One five. So we expect that transmitter tower, uh, the road coming in, Lake Oberon off to the left. Uh, Major water off to the right. Starting in the Marie area, Alpha Alpha, actually has four minutes till parachute drop from flight level to Maria. This isn't right, is it? No. No. I've, that's been mounting on me. All right. Shit. What did I do wrong? We're here. Four three is largely in that direction. But I must have gotten the calculation wrong. That's too far. So. I think I calculated the, the heading wrong, didn't I? Yeah, that's one of the things you did wrong. Ah, oh, shit. Alright. What else did I do wrong? The actual pinpoint you had wasn't that solid. Yeah? We were more to the right of track rather than the left. Well, we said it was his double bend. Well, I said it was his meander here, right? Was I wrong about that? We also got small meanders here. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. The ones we were looking at were small. Alright, well... Anyway, where are we now? Yeah, I, kn I knew the water looked wrong, and I should have acted on it earlier. Um, there's a lot of water here, that's helpful. Uh, but let's see, how far have we gone? It's 1-4 now. And we were here, we were somewhere around here at 0-3, so 11, 11 uh, minutes is 22 miles, which is... One, two, three, four, that far-ish, so we're talking like that way. I don't think I got the heading entirely wrong, so we're looking up in here somewhere. Maybe that's not far enough. 10, 20. Got a big body of water here. Yeah, I mean, I assume it's up here, which is why I'm thinking that's not far enough. Um, main body of water. Big yeah. body of water. Oh yeah, I know, It's it's got to be this, right? I'm just trying to figure out which part, which part of it we're in. Um, I'm losing altitude. There's towns beyond. So, um, and that's the end of it. So, it should be, th this should be this body of water here. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's fly above that. That's a nice pinpoint.
Boy, I was extremely far off. So we may, we must have been, uh, yeah, way over here somewhere. And then I headed way too far to the right. Okay. To the uh, east of now, tracking. Think about the wind. Which way would the wind bias you? So it was coming from two six zero. So it would have pushed yeah. us to the right. Right. Okay. Of course. Charlie Alpha Foxtrot Center, I just want to make sure that you I mean, I plan for the wind, but, area. yeah. 453 Alpha and Bravo is currently active from the surface to 10,000. All right, so, assuming we're here, you want to go to Janelle and Caves, or you want to go to Prospect? We'll go to Prospect. All right, let's go to Prospect. 453 and head direct to Nara. Thank you, just want to make sure. Thank you, Charlie Alpha Foxtrot. All right, so, true heading, I would say that is, uh, maybe 60. So let's subtract uh, uh, 12, gives us 4-8. Uh, so we're going to fly um, on route from Rugi to Canberra, just change to a jump. 0, 4, 8. Uh, with the India, my current uh, time is uh, 140530. I just need to extend it out by half an hour, please. Get the time. With India Alpha, it is uh, one seven for arrival Canberra, and just say the time for that you'd like. One to seven to here. Please. How far is that? Uh, with India Alpha, like to extend time to uh, zero six zero zero. With India Alpha. Then twenty. Amended time arrival Canberra now. Twenty seven. Let's say twenty seven miles. Thanks for that, with India Alpha. Which we expect should be uh, um, thirteen and a half minutes, fourteen minutes. Although I think we'll have a tailwind, so let's call that 13 Maria, minutes, Maria, probably even uh, less. Okay, drop onto Tampa, yeah. okay, so I'm going to turn that heading, note the time. Um, we want to be at A055, and then eventually we're going to have to come lower than that. In fact, maybe that's soon, I should check that before we go. Turn. Yeah, the dam. By the dam, we should be at uh, 4,500, hey. So, go 5-5 five five and then descend. Okay, so it may take 5-5 five five for now, but look yeah. like we're flying over. Yeah, 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 5-5 five five for now. And once you finish your clear off, then you can yeah. get the attitude down later. All right, so essentially we fly to the dam, <laughs> follow the water to the dam. No, that's not right. Okay, we'll rejoin with the water, okay. all right. Center 120, decimal zero, good day. Zero, 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 Alright, we've left the water at about one nine. 